Go ahead, get the gyro, and you know, hurry back, be careful, and all the other warnings I used to give you two. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine, and all the things we used to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. I guess fine's enough. Oh, watch your step down there. Do me a favor, don't stir up any rats, or ghosts, or rat ghosts. I could do without extra problems for a day. It's been a while since I tidied up, so good luck down there, kid. That's not very reassuring. Now, compared to what Saw has you up to, this'll be a walk in the park. Maybe we try some new components. I can definitely work with that. Say, Cal, would you like to buy my guide to Kobo? Not really. Good, because I haven't written it yet. But if you want to know something, I have all sorts of tips for Kobo visitors. Like what? Give information out for free. Come on, Cal. A frog's got to make a living. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Still here, are you? Yeah. Still here. Keep it up. I've got a healthy wager that you'll last just a little bit longer before those raiders catch up with you. I do hate to lose a bet, you know. Not interested. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's got to fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. Gets lonely patching up the outpost on my own. Be nice if I had a partner. Cal, how'd you sleep? Not so bad. You strike me as the type who sleeps with one eye open. Is it that obvious? No, but it's my business as a bartender to size up my clientele, whether they be debtors, buzzboys, or troublemakers. Bet you make more credits that way. Sure. Not to mention a sharp eye helps one avoid a blaster bolt to the chin. Well, I would love to chat, but I'm waiting for Grease. He's been in that back room muttering to himself. I heard you nearly died. I was crestfallen. It was harrowing! Really made me think about my life, you know? I don't want to die a washed-up no-clutch on the far edge of the galaxy. Wouldn't that be just dreadful? I couldn't even begin to imagine. Nor will I try. But now, I'm a frog reborn. That's surely worth buying me a drink to celebrate. You never miss a chance, do you? You have a slimy sense for business opportunities, I'll give you that, but this one's a bust. Go see if someone else will fall for it.
old smuggling tunnels, huh? Grease always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. this <laughs> ouch boglings are these what spook grease it's all right around here, bud. Nobody's used these tunnels for a long time now. and abandoned. More scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk.
Let me guess. More prospecting equipment. Is there anyone on Kobo who isn't digging for scraps? Is that it? The sooner we can. We should check this out. Only the force. It almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. But it feels different. Older. Let's see if we can hit the lights. Careful, BD. I came as soon as I could, Master Cree. I'm sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least, I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA4, of course. How may I serve the Order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. 
Master Kree. You are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. Um, that is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tumor? Oh, what a fine model. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. May the Force be with you. has been here for hundreds of years. BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. Completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. I'm more of a poncho guy. got more than a screw loose. What was that? I, uh, said, hold tight, Z. <laughs> Looks like a data disk. Never took them. 
I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. I take a look. Figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this. Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Ah, now I see where we are. A meditation chamber. Master Kree designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. I need to get out of here. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, we could have been down here forever. planet you mentioned. What's it like? Tanalo? Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo this. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Jedi. 
Come on. I'll be there in a moment, Cal. Don't wait on my behalf. Oh, such strange buildings. Oh my, what is that? Spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Drydis, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal. You have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I'm in full operating order, I will join you in the forest array. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use pleasure. the back door, would you? Some serious firepower. What I want to hear from my escort, pal. Relax. You're in safe hands. You'll be all right, Grease. If you say so. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. 
away from the Empire, the Haxian brood, escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha, huh, no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a pod rate. Not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pyloon, do you hear? Place could use a little trouble. Go on. I gotta focus on sussing out your boy here. I wonder if Kobo will have any legends about me. <laughs> Maybe I'll go spread a rumor or two. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, Bud. I got your back, brother. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. Keep an eye on Grease for me, all right? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Grease. You worry about the array, whatever that is. We'll handle the Mantis. Clean it up a little, buddy. So, just two arms, huh? Yeah, but don't worry. I got your back. Oh, yeah? Like you helped Cal and Coruscant? We helped each other. That's how we made it out alive. That time. Look. Let me tell you something, not for you, for my friend. Be careful with him. If you get in trouble, Cal gets in trouble. He doesn't like to leave friends behind. That stupid, loyal Jedi jerk. I hear you, Grease. So, bartender, where's this oil bar you mentioned? Coming right up, Heritage, coming right up. But something tells me you'd appreciate the soap more after we chat. Strap yourself in. I fear this update might be a little hard to process. Oh, come now. I can bear a little bad news. Spare no detail. Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself Emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Once say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes. Perhaps that would be best. Hey Z, know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Cree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes. But all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? Cal, another time, yes? I'm awaiting my oil bath. Still here, Cal? That array won't open itself, you know. So how long have you known Bo? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Kalaskar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, Rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. 
Sorry, Cal, but I'm busy tending to heritage here. Well, that reminds me. I should check on that oil bath soon. Apologies, champ, but I'm a tad busy with your new friend here. Maybe another time. You scrap anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks or the raiders show face, folks have been in their projects. So Kobo's a gold mine for scrappers like us. <laughs> you got that right. Kobo's a big planet. There's gotta be someone out there who thinks like me. Weird bucket of bolt you dragged in. Well, actually, she's a droid from the High Republic. Don't care. Run along now. I can see why you sit alone. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You uh... can't borrow it, Turgle. Ah. Uh... Hi, Cal. Listen, friend. What's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Another time.
forces with me.